thought he was dead. We went and searched to reach for him, walked everywhere, couldn't find him. Friends of Timothy Sheremy, affectionately referred to as Blimp, described the moments when they saw him apparently paddle up to Joshua's Marina Wednesday after being missing in the water off Furis since last week. It's like seeing Jesus Christ for the first time. You know, it, it was unreal. I couldn't believe he really came, made it back in, you know. It's, uh, it's amazing. Blimp claims he floated on a crab tray. I got one name for this guy, an animal. He can't, he can't go. The Coast Guard says it was told he paddled back to the dock from his wrecked boat. It's just a miracle from God that he made it back into this dock. I had to go because my body not going to it's not okay, too much longer. They can't sustain the diet. I'm not like, yeah, yeah, but I feel like I'm dying. I got to go. I got to get that, you know, that, that case. We met with Blimp after he had been found. This all started last week when the Coast Guard rescued him after his boat initially ran aground. After he had been rescued, he decided to have a friend take him back out and drop him off to try to salvage it. He says the weather got rough and tore up the boat. I know. I couldn't stay on the boat no more. But he said he didn't have his phone, and he says he radioed for help, but it never came. He says he pulled the crab tray from a camp nearby. Not much of a boat, but but it was still and not a lot. I made it across the river. He says he made it to an island, then another one. Over six days, Glenn says he journeyed toward home. I don't feel dry. My, my tires is dry. Uh, just uh, just. Uh, not illusional, but just the body like, you know, just about, about, about dizzy. Until he and his friends say he paddled ashore at Joshua's marina. He made it to the dock. Paddle to the dock, right? So, a shock to his friends who had gone out to look for him. All I wanted to do was hug him, tell him we love him, everybody was looking for him. He thought we forgot about it, but we didn't. Like the fourth day, the fifth day, it was like, man, I don't need it, but I was going to die. I don't want to die, bro. You know what's to die. That's right, that. I think he's just a warrior, I'm like, yeah, I guess. He just, he's been through a lot of tough times, and uh, it just seemed he could pull it out. David Jones, Fox 8, Local First.